Bickley and Murata. Bickley and Murata mornings. Arizona Sports, the local sports leader. Bickley Glast. The Cardinals are 3-10 and ten in their last 13 games. One of them was a Vegas miracle. One victory came against the Lions, and the other came against a Panthers team that fired its coach soon thereafter. They haven't won at home in nearly a year. Their fan base is frothing at the mouth, wondering what happened to an owner who once seemed hell-bent on winning, on changing his family's legacy, who had zero tolerance for the ineptitude he is now embracing. In any other NFL city, Cliff Kingsbury would be on the hottest of hot seats this morning. The upcoming game against the Saints on Thursday Night Football would be his last chance cafe. Lose that game and he is gone, surrendering his duties to Vance Joseph, who's a viable alternative and the best head coach currently on the staff at the moment. That's how teams desperate for winning happen to operate in the NFL, but that is not how the Cardinals are acting nor has it been since that playoff debacle in Los Angeles, where it seems like everything has been done on the cheap. And if Bidwill is valuing his relationships over winning, there is no coming back from that, and there is not a lot of hope I can offer. But at the very least, the owner should demand that somebody else call the plays starting now, because Kingsbury is fooling absolutely no one at the moment, not NFL defenses, and certainly not the fans in Arizona who are currently demanding better, who deserve better than this recurring nightmare of an overmatched head coach and his tricycle offense.